Hey, what's up, guys? It's Side the Big Red here, and today's video is going to be a more serious video than some of my others. Today, I'm going to be expressing my personal opinions about Call of Duty and the direction I feel the fan base needs to bring it back to. So, like in my opinion, Call of Duty is like that ex-girlfriend who says she's changed so she can get back with you, but she's never really changed. And my explanation from that is Black Ops 3 with the supply drop system. At the beginning of Black Ops 3, Treyarch promised us that the supply drops would have cosmetic items only, meaning that you could only get extra skins for your gun or extra clothes to wear for your character. And like that was just going to be it. And then they also said that you would not be able to buy them and that you would earn them with the in-game uh, currency system, which is crypto keys. And what did they do? Within a month of the game being out, they added in COD points. Something you could use to buy more su rare supply drops because those are obviously the better ones. And then around that same time, they released the first weapons in supply drops. And those were the butterfly knife, the wrench, and the uh, brass knuckles. And you know what people did? They spent outrageous amounts of money on COD points, and Activision repped the benefits of that. If Treyarch, in my opinion, if Treyarch kept the supply drop system the same way that it was from the very start of the game, and didn't add weapons, more people would be okay with it. But, yeah, supply drops, I think, are a part of what ruined Call of Duty. Another thing I'd say that ruined Call of Duty is how far in the future Activision pushed it. You may notice I keep saying Activision and not really blaming it on the developers. And I'm saying Activision because Activision is the ones who tell the developers what game to make. The developers pitch an idea to Activision and they can either shoot it down or accept it. And if they shoot it down, they usually tell them what they want the game to be. And the reason why there are more futuristic games than modern time setting games is because of Black Ops 2 and the massive amount of discs they sold for it. And Activision keeps pushing those futuristic games out in the hope that they get the same amount of revenue just from the disc alone again. Now, they end up passing Black Ops 2 in revenue but it's only because of the micro DLC, like COD points or like extra camos and stuff like that. But again, people don't like this futuristic stuff because A, it's way too far ahead in the future and people can't relate to it. Like really, that's the big problem. People can't relate to the map, they can't relate to the setting, and they can't relate to the guns that they have. The only game I think you could really relate to that is Ghost. And I absolutely hate that thing, but in Ghost, it's in a more of a modern setting, and there are more modern weapons. Advanced Warfare, the only weapon that you could relate to was like the AK-12, before they started adding in the uh, M16 and stuff, and Black Ops 3, the only weapon that's relatable is Supply Drop only, and that's like the MP40 and M1 Grand, stuff like that. But lastly, and I think this is the biggest problem with Call of Duty, is that it is not boots on the fucking ground. That is the only thing that people want. I would say 60 to 70% of people who play Call of Duty want it to be on the ground. Now, Advanced Warfare's idea of boost jumps was cool on paper, but in actual gameplay, it wasn't, and it... It, it was just awful because, you know, all anyone does is jump around like 20 fucking feet in the air and just to ground stomp you and teabag you. It, really, it, it wasn't fun. In Black Ops 3, they calmed it down, but it still has some of the same problems that Advanced Warfare did. Like, some gunfights you'll be in and you should have won, 
that some fucking sweaty with the new FAMAS just boost jumps and gets an easy headshot on you and they win the gunfight instead of you. But the only way that people who express the same opinions that I have will be able to get the game back to the way they want to is to not buy the game. If Activision sees that their sales have plummeted massively, then they will have to do something because they're losing money. And, you know, Activision's response to the amount of dislikes on the Infinite Warfare trailer is basically, like they didn't say this, but they're basically telling this to you, we don't care because Black Ops 2 was the most disliked video and it sold the best so we know you're gonna suck our dick and buy the game we don't care but again those are just my personal opinions and I know that a lot of people feel the same way and the only way we're gonna fix it is by not buying the game but if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and uh, I'm grounded right now, so I'm not really supposed to be making videos, but I'm going to be doing it anyways. And so, I'm wanting to make a regular upload schedule of uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. That way, I at least get three videos out in a week. But I have band rehearsals and stuff coming up pretty soon, so it's going to be kind of difficult. But, again, if you guys like the video, please... Uh, Drop a like and subscribe. Other than that, it's been Side the Big Red. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Smoked him. Red down. Establish perimeter at ten thousand feet AGL. Profit KIA. UAV FDL fifty percent check. The CDP stands strong. We kicked some serious ass, guys.